Morning Rebels, it's Monday. My school recently had the voting for what's going to go in the yearbook at the end of the year as far as superlatives go, and I won, let's see, nothing. Surprised much? To be completely honest though, I'm not all that surprised that I didn't win, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Sure, it'd be nice to win one, but I found happiness in the process itself. If you didn't know, superlatives are when the senior class votes for which student best fits a certain category, like most likely to be famous or best athlete. In the end though, it's really just a popularity contest. I mean, it's not supposed to be kind of like that, but in order to be voted on by people, you have to be known by those people, so it just is that way, and that can kind of leaves people like me out to lose. Although for some reason people in my class seem to keep telling me that I'm well known and popular, but I don't understand. I'm not popular and I'm not saying this to be like that person that's like, oh, I didn't even realize I had a lot of money and friends and everything nice in the world. No, I don't, I don't actually think I'm popular. But if they are correct and I am in fact really popular, why did I lose? Well, I came to figure out that I lost for the same reason that I loved the experience. I realized I wasn't one-dimensional. I mean, it turns out I actually got quite a few votes. It's just those votes came in completely different categories, so I never had a chance to win. Some people thought I was gonna be famous, other people thought I was most ambitious, some people also thought I was gonna be a politician, and my personal favorite, people thought that I was the biggest fanboy and they listed reasons as John Green, Star Wars, and Hamilton. Not to mention quite a few votes for best looking. I'm kidding, I got like no votes. That was like the only category I didn't get any vote, like zero, like I didn't get anything. I wonder why people would think that I'm a fanboy of John Green's Star Wars and Hamilton. I mean, there's nothing Hamilton back here, but. <laughs> Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman! Lafayette! I'm taking this hospital remains to make red coats with the blood stains. Lafayette! And never gonna stop till they make a drum and up the scandal their remains Good morning, Hank. It's Monday, October 31st, which makes it Halloween. I'm dressed up as John Green, which is why I said Hank. <laughs> Um, this is the progression of my spot. We outlined the Star Wars. We're gonna move on to stuff, uh, other stuff that you'll see later. But this is as far as we got. Looks pretty good. I'll check in with you guys later when it's completely done. I like books. You may have been asking where Looking for Alaska was in that list of John Green books, but it's right here. What this tells me is that I mean something different to everyone I know. Everyone sees something different in me, which means I hold all of these qualities. That's the joy and purpose of superlatives. Not winning. Especially if you win by convincing other people to vote for you. That is just the dumbest thing I can think of when it comes to this stuff because the whole point of superlatives are for you to see what other people think of you, not for you to convince them what they think of you. If you convince someone to vote for you as most likely to be model, that just means you're not most likely to be model because people didn't immediately think of you. Newsflash, it's not genuine, they just didn't want you to be pissed at them. Which I guess you can find a positive in, I... Probably. It's like when you take the Pottermore, like, Harry Potter house quiz and you're like, I want to be a Gryffindor. So you take it and you're like, what would a Gryffindor think? So you choose all those and you get Gryffindor. You're not actually a Gryffindor! You just answered questions so you would get that! If you answered correctly, you'd probably be a Hufflepuff like me! Proud Hufflepuff here. I'm um, just, just throwing it out there. But I'm also part Ravenclaw, so Huffleclaw. But, like, I switch back and forth. So I don't know if I can really identify as one party or the other house, house or the other. We are not making this thing political. This is not, no, no. So am I upset that I didn't win? No, not at all. I'm actually delighted that I got to see what I mean to people that mean so much to me. Or maybe this is just my coping mechanism because I lost. Either way, I encourage you, if you're in a situation like this, to see the positive. Sometimes the thing that everyone is seeking isn't the most rewarding thing for you. And with that, I'll leave you off. Have a great week and I will see you for the next one.